New decade, who dis? We are here to break down some hot tips to help make sure that your social media is bumping in 2020 and hopefully as organically as possible. Hi, my name is Desiree and if you're looking to grow your business with better content and social media marketing, take action now. Hit that subscribe button and the bell below. I have been a social media marketer for 10 years. This marks my 10 year anniversary of doing this crazy thing we call the social networks. And I have learned a lot. The one thing that never changes is every new year, there are new rules, new things that you have to do to get noticed and stand out and all of the things. So let's break down some tips on things that you can do to have better growth, better engagement on your posts and different social networks in 2020. So number one is going to be Facebook. Don't leave Facebook, stop giving up on it. So many people are like, Facebook is dead and Instagram for life and let's, let's get some TikTok up in here. No, no, just, just stop it. Facebook is a fantastic place for you to grow your brand and connect with people in an awesome, awesome way. But you kind of got to play their game. Now, I spent a lot of time doing this for businesses. And the number one thing I'm going to tell you to do is start creating videos for Facebook. It might sound cliche because all I ever talk about in this channel, or if you're new here, is you should be doing video. And the stats don't lie. When you do it, it's important. But it's not just any video that you should be doing. You need to do specifically three minute videos. And you have like certain markers that you need to hit. Number one, 10 seconds. And then you need to do one minute. Like those are your two metrics that Facebook is going to care about for your video. Because in that three second mark, it's just like the thumb scroll. The 10 second mark means you got someone to stop, pay attention for a little bit, and one minute tells Facebook, these people are worth staying in front of other people. Let's put them in front of other people. And you also wanna know why? Because when you do videos that are longer than three minutes, they can monetize your video, which means you can make more money and Facebook can make more money. And that's what their whole jam is. Let's, let's be real. So start making three minute or longer Facebook videos to help make the Facebook algorithm happy and your audience happy because you're gonna be connecting with them through video. With doing video though, you need to make sure that you are giving your video the best chance for success. That's going through all of the automation in the back end. This is going to be doing a title, doing a description, doing a tag, doing a thumbnail, and turning on those closed captions. How do you turn on closed captions? Here's my little tip for you. All you have to do is wait for that 100% upload. You can go to closed captions, select your language, and then just let it auto-generate. It's better that your closed captions auto-generate than not be there at all. I have seen it monumentally increase your reach when you can do that. You should be using closed captions and creating them for all of your videos and all of the places, which we'll dive into in one of our other social networks in this video. Just check it out, but the very least, turn it on with auto-generate on Facebook. Now, once you have created that awesome Facebook video and you have it uploaded, you've optimized it for success and Facebook's like, yeah, let's do this. Well, once people start commenting on your video, you gotta comment back. I'm gonna tell you, you wanna comment twice. That's right, twice. First with a GIF and second with a text message to them. So this is gonna be something like a GIF where you're like, ah, or yeah, or like, hey girl, I see you. I, I see you, some of my favorite GIFs I use all the time. However, I also followed up with a comment like, thank you so much for doing this, I really appreciate it, and then ask a question, hoping that they will comment again. So the more comments Facebook sees, the more they're like, hey, people really like this post, let's keep putting it in front of more of their followers which is going to get you more comments, which means that you get to do more commenting and it becomes a vicious cycle of awesome engagement. Make sure to do the two comment strategy. My next tip for you is gonna be, you wanna create a Giphy library. You might be like, why? Giphy's not really a social network. You would be wrong. GIFs are a way that people communicate how they feel about things all the time. Like literally my default setting is GIF and, and SAS, but mostly GIF. And so that's a really easy way for you to convey an emotion and connect with people. So you should be using Giphy where you can create two kinds of GIFs for your library. One is for Instagram. Now Instagram has its own sort of format that it uses. They're usually like they're smaller and littler and they have like no background. That's one way that you can create a GIF and you wanna make sure you're making GIFs for Instagram, just like you're making them for all of the other platforms. And then two, Gifts for everywhere else. So these are gonna be things like for using on Facebook, Instagram comments, you know, all of the places because gifts are becoming more and more popular with all of the social networks and all of the internet. And you wanna make sure that your gifts with like your face or your brand are what's being selected. I'm gonna encourage you to do some gifts like this. They're gonna be like, yeah, or mm -mm, no. Or maybe you do something like, huh, or get it girl, or, yeah, dude, like whatever makes, <laughs> uh, or yeah, basic, that's what 
I just did there. Anyway, you guys get it. Like, you know what you say all the time that would be a great comment for people. You guys know what you say all the time and that what your, what verbiage, what words, what sayings make sense for your audience. So turn those into gifts and have a really fun, customized way. If anything, I bet you people will comment because you commented with your own gift. My third tip for you is going to be closed captioned all of the things. Whether you're creating a quick 15 second Instagram story or a long YouTube video, you need closed captions because 84% of people are not watching your videos with sound because they're like in line at Starbucks or their kids are around or they're at work, like whatever it may be. Don't let your content not get watched because you're not investing in closed captions. Whether you're using a tool like Quick where you just upload your video and like auto generates it for you or paying for a service like rev.com where they will generate it for you at $1 a minute and hand you an SRT file for you to use in all the places, you need to be doing it. So invest in closed captions so that there is no chance that your content won't be consumed because they can't hear you. This also means you still need to do more video. Now on the subject of video, I really want you guys investing in vertical video in 2020. My good friend Shelly over at Vertical Video Vixen is like the queen of helping you break down how you should be doing this. If you have any questions, just head over to her. I'll put her link like up here, okay? You need to be using vertical video because literally every social network loves vertical video. Even if you're not using stories on Facebook, you definitely want to have vertical video because people are using their phones to watch your videos. And why not take up the whole screen, right? or Instagram stories, or TikTok, or YouTube stories. Yeah, YouTube has stories too. There are so many things happening with vertical video that you can't ignore it. And it's important to know how to do it correctly. So again, head over to Shelly, she's going to save you. And hey, comment on her video, tell her Desiree sent you. Now I would be a bad content marketer if I didn't talk about Instagram. Instagram is like the bee's knees, everyone's got their feelings about it and what they do or not do on it. What I want you guys to focus on with Instagram in 2020 is using carousel images. Carousel images when you can swipe and see up to 10 images. Why is this important for you? Because you have a story to tell and you have lots of information and it's engaging and makes people do stuff. So you can do before and after, step-by-steps, all of that kind of stuff. And it's going to be incredibly helpful for you. And I truly believe that this is going to be like the big thing in 2020 for Instagram. I really make sure you have a successful content plan heading into 2020. So I want you to watch this video right here where I'm going to show you how you can plan all of these super new fun tricks into your content marketing strategy. And hey, grab that freebie that I have down for you in the description. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Yeah, dude. Like whatever makes sense. <laughs>